Hello everyone, welcome to Viewer Submitted Comments, where we have fun checking out some of the comments that you guys have posted on the videos. Let's get started. I really enjoy this first one, and this first one is what inspired me to make the video. So here we go. If you can afford to tap out on turn 4 and turn 5 for something as stupid as monocolored white angel with no impact whatsoever on the board, and live the next two turns, then you're not playing commander, but some kitchen table magic. In a real competitive commander game, people tend to be winning on turn 3 consistently with combos, so you either have to be a disruptive prison deck to prevent that from happening, or be a combo deck yourself. Mono white angel's too weak. I wouldn't put Lyra even in my Captain Sisse commander deck, simply because Lyra does nothing of relevance. Nothing. Oh my god, I made a terrible mistake in my analysis of Lyra Dawnbringer. I'm gonna take down my video immediately. Is what you wish I would say. There are a number of flaws in your argument, starting with, I never said that Lyra Dawnbringer was going to be a competitive commander, it's probably not going to be, and I'm fine with that. Second, you're assuming that all Commander is competitive Commander, and it's not. Most games of Commander go about 8 to 10 turns. Yes, competitive Commander is a thing, and it does end on turn 3 sometimes. But that's not what every single person on the planet is playing. You would do well to realize that you don't make up the entire community of Commander, and that most of the Commander that is played is non-competitive. And why is it that I have no problem recognizing competitive Commander as a format, but you have trouble recognizing casual Commander as a format? There's nothing to gain by thinking that another format is inferior. Oh, and by the way, I can always build a better deck, but you'll still be a jackass. Just looking from the perspective of a more competitive commander player, I guess. Oh, there's no backtracking after your opening comment. Then again, players that want to play more casual game of commander like yourself usually get extremely frustrated with an inadequate. The word is inadequate. Deck like aforementioned Lyra Dawnbringer commander and getting constantly crushed. In order to avoid that for future commander players, I suggest you name your videos more aptly. Like, for example, Lyra Dawnbringer, the next grand casual commander general. Otherwise, new players may get confused and try to build competitive Lyra Dawnbringer commander deck, which can never happen, no matter how much money one invests in such deck. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Also, you're a dumbass. New commander players aren't gonna jump right into competitive commander, that's like a new player jumping straight into vintage. They're not gonna spend a thousand dollars or more on a deck for a game that they just started playing. They're probably gonna buy a pre-con and just look to play with some friends and have a good time. So, you've clearly shown that you have no idea what you're talking about, and because of that, your post contains nothing of relevance. Nothing. And so, there's no room on this channel for blatantly disrespecting others. I will not put up with it. If anyone wants to make themselves look like an idiot in a public forum, I will happily exploit their stupidity for the entertainment of others. Next, on to something a little bit lighter. So, Kazool's Toll Collector is basically Thora throwing around the Sunforger hammer and smiting your foes. Sweet. Yeah, you know what? I really like that. I really, li I really like that imagery. We'll go with that. The real Ore Dragon is Niv Mizzet. I'll leave now. This is a blatant oversight by Watsi, and I have notified their customer service about this issue so that they can fix it immediately. But no, I think it's funny that the the name the Ur Dragon suggests that it should be a blue red dragon. Whoops. Tails never fails. Oh, yeah, I know. I should have went Tails on that pick. Usually on a high leverage mana crypt flip, I usually do go Tails, and this time I didn't, and it ended up costing the game, so that was pretty rough. Next time, I'll know better. Uh, okay, for one, Knowledge Pool only affects cards cast from your hand, therefore you can still cast your commander, and second, Homeward Path? I'm watching you guys get wrecked by your Avacyn, and all you had to do was play Homeward Path and tap it. You made this game out to be so much more difficult than it actually was. Punt Central. Yeah, I know, I missed the Homeward Path for a turn cycle, and I did forget for a little while that you can still cast your commander through the Knowledge Pool lock. But I still think it was a really interesting game, because it is very, very hard to break through that kind of lock. You can still cast your commander through Knowledge Pool lock, as Knowledge Pool only works for spells from the hand, not from the command zone or other zones. Uh, yeah, in that game I did actually forget about that, but I wanted to include it here, so people can learn from my mistake, and they'll remember it next time it comes up. Um, Homeward Path? Yes, yes, I know, the Homeward Path. I was like, brah, look at your hand, brah. I was glad you finally realized it, but brah. Yes, we've talked about the Homeward Path already. I know about the Homeward Path. Is no one else absolutely baffled at the 5 minute 30 seconds clear the land that hit 17 out of 20 non-land permanents, including an Azusa deck in there? You kind of pointed it out, but the probabilities for such a low hit are absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, someone needs to do the math on that because it has to be incredibly unlikely for so many misses off that clear the land. 
I would guess you're talking about like a 5% chance or less. I know why they got banned. Those players suck at beating them, so they banned them. I played against a Vile Smasher deck and a Bray deck, and I beat them countless times with Mono Green Elves. But yeah, what would eventually happen over a longer period of time if they didn't ban those, Mono Green would probably be one of the few decks that can beat that deck, and then it would basically turn into a two-deck meta, and eventually I think those multicolor decks would be able to run enough removal to completely shut down your Mono Green Elves deck, to which point Brea and Vile Smasher would still completely dominate the meta. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up this very first edition of viewer submitted comments. We'll be doing another one of these at some point in the future. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe. Thank you for watching.